Hey, how's it going? This your guy King Dave from TrapMonsters.com. Here to do another tutorial on the machine, um, how to access your custom drum kits, your third-party plugins and effects using a short list. Um, that's what I like to call it. Instead of going through that external list where all your stuff is just tied in, you're looking through it. And but this is for your favorite stuff that you like to go through, go to, should I say, um, to get access to quick, fast, and hurry without going through the external tab. Check it out. Mmm, trap monsters, baby. All right, I'm able to uh, do all my custom drums and have the uh, skins to them they'll show up in my machine studio like this as well. So, um, yeah, I'm able to see all that, right? So then, same thing for the effects. These are like shortcuts, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who I'll tip to or whatnot. I'm a new user of the machine. I've been using the machine since um, January uh, 2015. So, uh, still little things I'm still trying to figure out and learn about it. But as I learn, I don't mind throwing some tutorials out there just in case somebody else may not know nothing about it either. So um, I was able to, uh, I went to, well, let, me, let me start over again. What happened was I went to a conference in Chicago um, and I had sent me out there um, this invite basically to a music conference in Chicago and um and i was out there and i was just asking all kind of questions and stuff and it was like well how i asked him how is it i'm able to do custom uh you know patches and things like that and be able to see my drum kits but i see tabs for the user and can't do no custom stuff for that he said no you can and he showed me how to do it so i'm showing you so um yeah, I'm able to have all my go-to plugins and things like that that I like to use a lot um, here in this DAW. Now, um, the thing is, is that <clears throat> I'm not able to get the skins in here. What I mean by that is actually the artwork, like how you see in Contact and Massive right here. Um, seeing that this is an NI program, I'm pretty sure they would have it set up like that. And so... The way how I did my drums, I thought I could do the same for my VSTs and also my um, effects, but it's not working. So if anybody out here is check out this video and know how to do that, I would love to know how to do that. It's just a little small, little stupid stuff I like to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the most important thing is that I am able to get hold of a lot of my third party sounds without going through this long motherfucking list right here in my external plugins and effects all this shit is mixed in i wish and i would fix that to where you would have external plugins and, a, and uh, external effects and external vst should i say so all that should be separated and it'll make it a lot easier but from this tab right here you're gonna see all that and it's like a needle in a haystack can't find it you got to look and find it and look and look, 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 and hope you don't pass it up as you're scrolling through trying to find what you're trying to find. Um, now, as you know, a specific name of it or whatever, everything's in alphabetical order in here. So, uh, which makes it a little easier, but still, you still got to go through all this just to find what you want to get at the end of the day, uh, which is some bullshit, but it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, and I, if y'all hearing me, can y'all work on that? Because I would love that function. I know y'all still perfecting doing what y'all doing y'all in. I love the pro I love the product. But at the same time, it's just a little hassle when you got a person like myself that has all these effects and plugins and stuff in here. And I'm trying to search for one thing. So I know y'all real big on that Meditech data thing. So at least give me a thing where I can search for a name. Anyway, outside of that, <laughs> outside of that, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So I was looking and I'm trying to find an effect that I can basically kind of use um, in this. Okay, let's do this one as an effect. Um, <clears throat> all right. So 
how you do that is you'll come here you will click on the little arrow thing right there and um it should pull up the plugin or effect that you're wanting to uh, look at and um from there you'll be able to uh tweak it and everything but uh, you also able to save it as a favorite so you ain't gotta go through that long list if you're a person like myself that has a lot of effects and things going on you don't have to worry about that so yeah sorry about that my computer froze up on me so um i'm back but what happened was is that um while i was at i was trying to uh find a plug-in to load up in fact i don't know how this come out of this all right click on there all right and then instrument tab come over Let's see here. Like I said, it's just a long list full of shit in here. And you gotta look through and find what you're looking for. I'm trying to find a sound module, some kind of a VST or something like that. I can load up in the instrument part of this. Um. Uh, See, do I have silence one in here somewhere? Gotta find that. Uh, all right, simple tank three. Let's do that. That's one I like to use too. All right, <clears throat> simple tank three. So now I hit that little arrow right there to show you what's going on with that. Wham, that opens up. Okay, boom. But like I said, long list full of shit. So you right click on your mouse. I'm working in a Mac, so um, the directories and things might be a little different. The other stuff I'm about to show you here soon, but um, you just hit save as, save, and then it should be down in here. Where is it at? Yep, there you go. IK Media, there we go. Simple Tank 3. All right, so that's that for the uh, for the, your sound effects VSTs, third party plugins and stuff like that. Same thing for the effects in the user tab. You do the same thing. Same exact thing. So you can come right here, um, go to your external uh plugins and effects and chose something from Waves. Um boom. <clears throat> and it would have saved it in there and so you'll have access to it. And I open it up so you can see it. It's the, uh, the API uh, joint compressor. And so um, I just want to save that. That's one of my favorite go tos. Save that in there. Wham, there it is. So you only got to go through the long list of looking at all this shit, burning your eyes out and all that type of shit, trying to find something. It's all, it'll be right here. Your most favorite stuff will be right there. Your main go to stuff. <clears throat> Less than that. Yeah, right there. And you can also see it from your controller if you have the uh, machine studio. Um, and the artwork would come up like that too. Um, now for the drums, this is what you would have to do. I'm gonna uh, give you guys the files to be able to do this too, but you're gonna have to have Photoshop to do that. But let me show you this. Yeah, okay. Your drum kits, wherever you save all your drum kits at, the name of it, of that folder, of that specific drum kit that you're wanting to load into your machine, make sure the name that's on that folder of your sound kits is the same as where you're going to have your artwork at. It has to be the same name. Mike Will Made It Kit Drum Kit. Mike Will Made It Drum Kit. Simple as that. That this folder cannot be where this folder is stored at two different places. You can save this folder on your external drive or a folder somewhere like I have mine. All my drum kits are right here all together and I have all of them correlates or is the same as right here. All of them will be in here. It's my artwork. <clears throat> Metro Boom, all his artwork right there. See what I'm saying? Let me go to his drum kits. 
There's a lot of these motherfuckers in here. Yeah, okay, here it is. Drum kits. Boom. No, uh, his sounds is right there. Two different places. Now, your artwork would have to go through, it would have to be like this. You would go to user, shared, in the Mac. You got to be in the Mac on this one. You want to look for a folder. Once you go to shared, you want to go and find the NI resources folder. And from there, you go to image and you will make a folder here and put your artwork in there um, of whatever producer drum kit you're loading up through the machine. Like I said, you probably will have to have Photoshop or you can um, do this too. Let me see here. Uh, let me find. Okay. Well, I, just, I can just do this. Do it like this. Uh, you would just double click and you can find artwork on Google, wherever, and use that. But it has to, you have to shrink it down and be the same exact um dimensions as the artwork that i will be putting in this link and it um and how you do that is you double, double click on like a regular picture you go to tools and then you'll go to adjust size and then from there you want to make sure your size and dimensions of the artwork is exactly what you see right here on the original file that i'm about to send you and you'll make all those files that same size exactly like this you should see yourself look like that at the end of the day you put it all in one folder um everything um so far is and oh yeah you can even do text so you can put your uh text across here like how i just did on this right here see so it'll show up in multiple different ways and make sure you um put the name of the folder on this meta tag uh, uh, data form right here too it has to be the same this has to be the same this has to be the same and the drum kit itself where your drums are at has to be the same and then you'll go into your machine well you can go here file go to preference and then go to library user and then in user, you'll just hit add and you will find where your drum samples are at and load that and scan it. Well, and then after you're done doing all that, you should have artwork that could pop up on the side like this right here where you'll see Mike will made it artwork. And you see how the Mike will made it tag thing. I put the text right there and also the artwork. So long if you do exactly that step by step now on windows, I don't know exactly how it goes, but it should be something like that to that effect. I'm just too, I'm not too familiarized with the Windows side of things anymore. Uh, I've been working with Mac for a couple of years now. So the directory on that, I don't know exactly, but however, that's exactly what you need to do. So, um, yeah, that's just about it, man. Um, uh, that's all the game I have for y'all. Um, I will be loading, um, the files to do the artwork for the drum kits and also a uh a link in the description in the bottom of this video to download a uh as just a startup kit to be able to do this right here so um good luck to y'all um make some banging ass tracks this should do king david trapmonsters.com go check out the site for all y'all producers just look for drum kits i will be uploading some uh some drum kits that I personally use and that I've made throughout the years of me doing production. Um, and y'all be able to get them for free. It'll be on there for a free download or y'all can go to the site. I'm going to put them on there too. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I'm just put it into the site, go into the site and you'll see a tab in the media player for drum kits and you'll be able to uh, download your drum kits from there. You do King David, trapmonster.com. I'm out.